here from Team GCM and this is my new dog Banks. Today I'm going to show you how to take your old t-shirts and turn them into upcycled dog toys. Let's get started! First, we've got to cut the t-shirt to make loops. You fold the t-shirt in half and smooth out any ridges. Make sure that the sleeves are lined up and the edges all the way down the side of the t-shirt are lined up. Now we're going to cut the hem off the bottom of the t-shirt. Since there's a hem, it's a little bit tighter and not as easy to stretch. I'll show you using a rotary cutter. And I'll show you using scissors. And then you can save the scraps for another project. Make sure, again, that your t-shirt is all smooth, and now we're going to start by cutting two inch strips. If you don't have a cutting mat that has measurements on it, you can always use a ruler, you can make marks on your t-shirt, or you can just take a guess. They don't have to be perfect. I'm going to make strips all the way up until that last edge of the shirt sleeve. You can save that top half of the shirt for another project. Now that you have your loops, you can go ahead and open them. You can stretch them out. If you'd like your dog toy to be a little bit more colorful, you can use different colored t-shirts. For the next step, you'll need three loops. You make a cut, and now you have three long strings. Take one end, wrap it around your finger, and then you're going to take the loose end and pull it over, up, and through, and now you have a knot. I used my binder clip to attach my strings that I knotted together to my cutting mat. I'll be using one, two, three strings to braid today. When you're braiding, you continuously change which string is the middle string. You do that by overlapping the outside strings, which become the middle strings. You will continue this overlapping pattern until you get to the bottom of your now braided rope. As you continue to braid, make sure you take time to pull it tight so that you have a nice, long, tight rope. Now that your rope is braided, we've just got to knot off the bottom end. So we're going to take the loose end without a knot and do the same knot as we did before. Wrap it around your fingers, pull it over, up, and through. Now you've got another knot. Now that we've completed our braided rope, it is time for the final step. First, we're going to make a circle with our rope. We'll take the end that's over top and bring it under, pull up, and pull tight. For this next part, you might need some assistance. So you can use a binder clip or you could ask someone in your house for help. I asked someone in my house to help. Have them hold the knot you just tied as we tie another one. We'll take one string over the other and pull it up and through and pull tight. And just like before, we're going to continue this pattern until the end of our rope. Make sure that your last knot that you are able to tie is nice and tight. And there you go, you've completed your own dog toy out of an upcycled t-shirt. 